Good afternoon. I'm Mike Nicole, and I'm happy to be out here with you. We'll see how my voice holds up. So when Mark asked me to speak, I, I said I wanted to speak about democracy because I'd read an article in In These Times, uh, which was entitled, What is Actually Radical About Bernie Sanders' Democratic Socialism Isn't the so Socialism. How many of you have heard of In These Times? It's a democratic socialist publication, which is why many of you probably haven't heard of it yet. Maybe it'll become more popular now. <laughs> so for Bernie, socialism is simply a shorthand for a robust investment in public services and the common good. Nothing real radical about that, right? Come on. So creating an economy that works for everyone rather than just the 1%. How many of you um, heard about the Oxfam report that was just released this week? All right, so I'll give you, if you didn't hear about it, all right, so basically the 62, 62 wealthiest people in the world own more wealth than 50% of the world's population, 3.6 billion people, all right, and get this, the wealth of those 62 people has risen by more than half a trillion dollars in the last five years, at the same time the total owned by the poorest half has fallen by a trillion dollars. Here's a quote from the president of Oxfam. Power and privilege are being used to rig the system, to increase the gap between the riches and the rest to levels we have not seen before. Far from trickling down, income and wealth are instead being sucked upwards at an alarming rate. The system is rigged. You're kidding me. Like, we don't know this, right? One of the things I hear about Bernie from my partner <laughs> Is that he's too angry? But you know what? He should be. That's right. He's angry because we're getting a raw deal. The people are getting a raw deal and we're angry. And we're glad to see someone else who's angry on our behalf. So let's get back to what's really radical about Bernie Sanders. According to this article, it's not his socialism, it's his fierce commitment to democracy.
Warriors, let's make that happen. So our job, um, our job is to build a democracy movement big enough and bold enough to recognize and then repair the damage wrought by a small group of people who for centuries have controlled and misused others for profit, and then not to rest, but to continue imagining and creating the world we want to see. So this is not a short-term job, people. This is the work of a lifetime, and I know that many of you out there have given your lives to this struggle. And Bernie Sanders has given his life to this struggle. And we must go on. And just like the powerful movements that have come before us, the women's rights movement, the abolitionist movement, the civil rights movement, we have to ask questions that get to the heart of what is broken in this system. Why have we organized our entire political economic system around the idea that the dollar is more important than a person? Why is the corporation the centerpiece of that system? Why do the very small handful of people who run these corporate giants get to make the decisions that affect our lives? From what kind of air we breathe, to the quality of water we drink, to when we go to war, and what if any kind of future we will have on this planet? When we ask these questions, we will begin to see that this system, see this system not as the way things are, but as the way things were created, consciously and deliberately created by those in power. And we will learn that if things can be created, they can be taken apart. Yes, they can. Now we will feel the first inklings of our own radical self-respect returning. And we will say, we can do better than this. We can build a world that does not divide and poison and harm us and each other. We have just rarely gotten the chance to prove it. And we are creating that chance together now. Bernie Sanders is giving us that opportunity. And I, for one, with my whole being for doing that. He is calling on us to build this movement and understand that movements are not merely campaigns or single actions or plans for reform. Movements question and then reorder our basic assumptions about the world. They orient us towards justice. We are not merely fighting against corporate rule. We are fighting for democracy. Our fight does not end with electing Bernie Sanders. Our fight ends in justice by which we mean liberation from a system that divides and damages in the name of the dollar to one that resists and rebuilds in the name of democracy. Our goal is a world where people take back the most basic human power, the power to decide, the power to collaborate equitably with others to find solutions to the problems we face. We are asking, do we exist? Do we exist for the economy or does the economy exist for us? We say it exists for us and we should control it. We believe that together we can create an economic and political system that does not depend on violence, exclusion, and hierarchy. So join the movement. Organize. Help build the movement. Lend your voice to the fight against private prisons, deportations, poverty wages, police brutality, environmental racism, climate destruction. Let's practice politics that reflects the world we want to see. If we want justice, we work with people who want justice. If we want equity, we practice equity. If we want a different world, we don't wait to get started. We begin, and then we win. So, I know Ruth is really good at leading chants. And we, we can get everyone involved here, and I want you to say it like you mean it. There ain't no power like the power of the people, because the power of the people don't stop. Say what? There ain't no power like the power of the people, because the power of the people don't stop. Say what? There ain't no power like the power of the people, because the power of the people don't stop. Say what? There ain't no power like the power of the people, because the power of the people don't stop. Say what? There ain't no power like the power of the people, because the power of the people don't stop. Say what? There ain't no power like the power of the people, because the power of the people don't stop. Say what? There ain't no power like the power of the people, because the power of the people don't stop.